Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about my Escar Hey Duke and why I love this bike so much and some of the things that I've done with with my setup. As you can see, I have it in my 29 uh, wheel setup. I put the widest possible rims that I felt was appropriate. Those are um, the Race Face Arc 35s, which are 35 millimeter width. And one of the things I loved about Escar is they thought about people like me that have uh, parts been, you know, full of bike parts and been using, reusing and, and um, redoing their bike parts for a long time. So these gold Hadley hubs that I have on here, I actually had those on my Foz FXR many years ago and then they got rebuilt into that. That was a 26 inch wheel Foz FXR. And what's nice about them is they're rebuildable and I was able to um, repurpose them and, and keep them going and put them on this bike because they have this type of dropout that you can configure to either 148 or 142. And as you know, 148 was very marginal improvement to 142, there wasn't that much more width to the axle flange width where it counts on a wheel and it didn't really make a stronger wheel. So I found it pointless. Um, so um, my, my single speeds obviously have wider flanges because they're single speed specific hubs. But if I'm to get a new full suspension bike, it's probably gonna have the 157 boost um, hub axle spacing. I'm not gonna bother with the 148. Anyway, so I just put some new bearings on this and it's actually silent um, and so um, that's what's nice when you first repack that with new bearings you get that silent and I'll show you those bearings in a second so this Escar Hey Duke I was able to run a couple configurations as you can see I could squeeze that bigger wheel in there um, with a 2.5 inch tire and it's got the the Terravel um, it's really dirty right now but the Terravel um, A-line um, a 2.5 inch tire in there and so it's not really a heavily lugged tire and it fits in there and then up front it's got the Terravel Honcho um, 2.6 and so I mean uh, obviously the fork can accommodate um, pretty big um, tires so with this frame I was not only to repurpose and reuse those hubs but I had these other hubs um, Hadley again I really like Hadley and so I was able to build up a plus wheel set so these are um, 275 plus wheels with a 275 by 2.8 and then on the front it's a 275 by 2.8 but the rim is a little bit wider on the back rim it's it's a 40 um, rim and then on the front it's a 45 I went a little bit wider on the front and again with the Hadley hubs I've got a lot of Hadley hubs and I really like Hadley um, great company and so i can go from a 27.5 plus to a 29 wheel setup or do a mullet and i had this wheel set built up for my single speed and it's a wtb scraper so it's a wide profile rim 40 millimeter rim and i have that big uh surly dirt wizard 29 by 3.0 but it's more like a 2.8 if you look at it compared to other 2.8, it, it doesn't spread out like a, road, a full three inch tire, but that fits in there fine. So I actually have three bikes in a way by having just that one frame and the extra wheel set. So I kind of like that, that I can mix and match it and try different things out. Um, you know, the, two, the 29er setup rolls fast and climbs faster, but the 275 plus wheel set just, um, just can smash rocks and, and go down the, the really loose gnarly trails with no problem. In the mullet setup, it lifts up my front end a little bit, so it makes my bike a little bit slacker and um, gives it that combination feel of being able to roll over stuff real easy with that big 29 in front, but being able to corner really nice with a smaller 275 in back. So that's what I've done with my Hey Duke. And just showing you, oh, somebody was talking about dropper levers. So this one does have the wolf tooth dropper lever. My new build, I'm getting the fox dropper lever, but that wolf tooth is really nice. If I um, 
If Fox didn't make a new nice one that was machined like that, I probably would have got another wolf tooth, but uh, wolf tooth, it was just more complicated. They don't come with the attachment kit to to get the, uh, well they do, but you have to order it separately. So you order this custom dropper lever and then you have to order the separate attachment kit to attach it to your brake levers. So you go, so you can have one single clamp and not two clamps sitting there. It just makes for a cleaner look on your bike. Of course, my other bike's not gonna have a shifter pod because it's gonna be a single speed. So it's gonna be even cleaner with just the dropper lever and brakes. So that'll be a nice clean look. Anyway, thanks for watching and leave in the comment if you want some more opinions about my different wheel setups and that I've been riding and trying out up here in my local mountains. It's another beautiful day. I'm gonna ride another day. Thank God that I healed up quickly and I can go back to my daily riding. Talk to you guys later.